Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share the Marilyn series of e to the power of tangent x. As usual, we can let f x be equal to the function which is e to the power of tangent x. At point x is equal to 0, tangent 0 is equal to 0, which means that we have e to the power of 0 or simply equal to 1. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x. We can apply the chain rule or make use of the simple hex synthesis exponential function. What we have to do here is firstly, copy exactly the same e to the power of tangent x and now multiply the derivative of the power which is secant squared x. At point x is equal to 0, secant 0 is equal to 1 which means that we have 1 squared is equal to 1 and multiply with 1 we obtain 1. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x again. We can apply the product rule but I'm going to make use of a simple hex and this is a product of functions involving exponential function. What we are going to do here is firstly copy copy the exponential function e to the power tangent x and now make a bracket and copy the rest of the function which is secant squared x and we should differentiate but we differentiate secant to the power of n x very simple firstly copy exactly the same secant squared x and now power bring down so we have positive 2 and multiply tangent x lastly is to obtain the derivative of the power and multiply to the first term inside the bracket so we have secant to the power of 4 x next I'm going to transform the term with more than one trigonometric function so that following derivative can be obtained easily without complicated differentiation with multiple product rule. So I'm going to transform this term. Recall that secant squared x is equal to 1 plus tangent squared x, which means that this derivative can also be written as e to the power of tangent x times secant to the power of 4x plus 2 times tangent x times one which is two tangent x and we plus two times tangent x times tangent squared x which is two tangent cube x therefore at point x is equal to zero we have one times one plus zero plus zero which is equal to one let's continue to differentiate the function with respect to x for the third time also follow the simple hack firstly copy the exponential function which is e to the power tangent x and now make a bracket and copy the rest of the functions so we have secant to the power 4x plus 2 times tangent x plus 2 times tangent cube x. Since we have more than one term, so we need a bracket. And now differentiate them. Again, to differentiate secant to the power 4x, follow the simple hack. Firstly, copy exactly the same secant to the power 4x. And now power bring down 4 and we multiply tangent and we that. Next, continue to differentiate the second term. Differentiate 2 tangent x, we obtain 2 secant squared x. And differentiate the third term, we should have power bring down 3 times 2 is is equal to say power loss 1 so we have 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 in other words we have tangent to the power of 2x and now differentiate tangent we obtain secant squared x lastly don't forget to obtain the derivative of this power and multiply to the first term inside the bracket so we have secant squared x here let's expand this terms so we have e to the power tangent x multiplying secant to the power 4x times secant squared x which is secant to the power of 6x and we plus 2 times again recall the trigonometric identity so we should have 2 times tangent x times 1 which is equal to 2 tangent x and we plus 2 times tangent x times tangent squared x which is 2 times tangent cube x and the next term we have 2 times tangent cube x times 1 which is equal to 2 tangent cube x and next we have 2 times tangent cube x times tangent squared x which is equal to 2 tangent to the power 5x since 3 plus 2 equal to 5 by using the law of indices and for the next term we should have 4 times tangent x times secant to the power 4x since secant squared x is equal to 1 plus tangent squared x which means that if we square both sides so we should have secant to the power 4x is equal to 1 plus 2 tangent squared x plus tangent to the power 4x which means that this term can be written as 4 times tangent x times 1 which is 4 tangent x plus 4 times tangent x times 2 times tangent squared x which means that we should have 8 
times tangent to the power of 3x and lastly 4 times tangent x times tangent to the power of 4x equal to 4 tangent to the power of 5x and for the next term we have positive 2 secant squared x and lastly for the term 6 tangent squared x secant squared x either we transform the term to only with secant or we can transform to tangent as well i prefer secant so i'm going to have tangent squared Squared x is equal to secant squared x minus 1. So, which means that for the last term, we should have 6 times secant squared x times secant squared x, which is 6 secant to the power 4x. And we have 6 times minus 1 times secant squared x, which is negative 6 secant squared x. Let's simplify. So, we should have e to the power tangent x times, firstly, copy the term with secant x according to the power in descending order so we should have secant to the power of 6x followed by positive 6 secant to the power of 4 Next, we have 2 secant squared x minus 6 secant squared x, which is minus 4 secant squared x. And now we can simplify the terms with tangent x. Also, follow the power in descending order. So, firstly, we should take 2 tangent to the power 5x plus 4 times tangent to the power 5x, which is equal to 6 tangent to the power 5x, followed by tangent cube x. So, we should have 2 plus 2 plus 8 which is equal to 12, and we have tangent to the power 3x. And lastly, we have tangent x, so we should take 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6. So we have tangent x here. Let's determine the value at point x is equal to 0. To make the calculation simpler, we can ignore the terms with tangent x, since tangent 0 equal to 0. So we can consider only the secant. So we should have 1 plus 6 minus 4, which is equal to 3. Let's continue to differentiate the function with respect to x for the fourth time. Also, follow the simple hack. Firstly, copy the exponential function, tangent x, and now make a bracket and copy the rest of the functions. Also, differentiate them. But then, when we check that, we have obtained 1, 2, 3, 4 non-zero terms. If the question asks for 5 non-zero terms, basically, this will be the last derivative that we should obtain. So, instead of differentiating all these terms, I'm going to make use of a term called kx for the terms that I'm going to ignore. That is, the terms with secant to the power of nx and tangent to the power of mx, where m is not equal to 1. This is because for secant to the power of nx, if we apply the simple hack just now, we should obtain n times tangent x times secant to the power of nx. And for tangent to the power of mx, we should obtain m tangent to the power of m minus 1x times secant to the power of 2x. From here, we can see that we have the term with tangent x. And when we substitute x is equal to 0, these two terms will definitely obtain 0, which will not affect the value at point 0 for this derivative. And hence, we can ignore. Therefore, we can ignore this term, this term, this term, this term, and this term. So we should differentiate only this term. And we should obtain 6 secant squared x. And lastly, don't forget to obtain the derivative of the power, which is secant squared x. And now determine the value at point x is equal to 0. So for the tangent x ignore, which means that we should have 1 plus 6 minus 4 plus 6, which is equal to 9. With these 5 non-zero terms, we can now obtain the Marilyn series of e to the power of tangent x. Firstly, we have the value of 1, and this is for the original function. So we have 1 divided by 0 factorial x to the power of 0. And we plus the next value, which is equal to 1. And this is for the first derivative. So we take 1 factorial times x to the power 1. And next, we have also 1. But this time is for the second derivative. So we take 2 factorial x to the power of 2 and next we have 3 and this is for the third derivative so we take 3 factorial x to the power of 3 and the last term we should have is 9 which is for the fourth derivative so we take 4 factorial x to the power of 4 and so on so this is equal to 1 plus x plus 1 over 2 x square plus 1 over 2 x cubed plus 3 over 8 x to the power of 4 and hence we're done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you